have uh, several scoring positions, and just, just like just like your average wrestling match in freestyle Greco, takedowns are worth one point. The one difference is you need to hold your opponent for a, a three second count to be awarded your one point takedown. So we're going to do double leg takedown and control three seconds. I'll be awarded one point. The second scoring position would be it's called side control. So side control means you pass both of your opponent's legs. Pass one leg, the other leg. Control his hips, his chest. Three second count control, two points. The, the next scoring position is a, a three point position considered called a mountain position. So I would go from side control or takedown all the way to Mount position covering both hips. My knee over both of his hips. 1001, 1002, 1003, three points. The last scoring position would be uh, taking someone's back. One, one leg in, nothing. When my second leg crosses his hip, for three second count, that would be considered four points. One, two, three, four points for that. One more scoring position is, a, is an escape. So if we go from a side control position, once I'm scored my side control position for three seconds, if he establishes what we call a half guard, like this, for three seconds, he's awarded one point of escape. For three seconds, at that point, I can start the scoring sequence again. I can score my two point position, my three point position, and my four point position. In wrestling, we have reversals. In grappling, we, we, we can sweep and go from one position to the next. It's not necessarily a scoring position, though. If I go from side control position to end up in a neutral position, we're in neutral here. This is considered neutral. He gets his one point for neutral position. If he, he bridges me through, we're still neutral. There's no points awarded yet. He's going to have to take away the guard, get the side control. Now he's going to be awarded a side control position. So there's no pinning. There's no pinning in crap. We're going to have uh, hundreds of submissions. Your basic submissions would be um, the rear naked choke. Your basic submission would take your opponent's back. You're awarded your, your points. But like in wrestling, the goal is to pin your opponent. In grappling, the ultimate goal is to submit your opponent. So the very common one would be a rear naked choke position here. And as soon as he indicates by tapping, the match is over. Another basic submission would be an arm bar position. Arm bar position where I swing over. I lock his elbow. When he taps, that tells the referee I give up and that's as far as subtle differences between gi and no gi grappling, obviously with gi you can grab it much like judo and throw it. How does the strategy differ? The scoring is the same, but how does the strategy differ? The biggest difference is with the gi you can slow your opponent down and you can use the gi to choke your opponent. You can use it to, to hold him in certain positions and grab the clothes and slow him down. And you can use the gi, again, ultimately to use it to submit your opponent.